Salutations. My name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and let me tell you a story. The year is 2016. A massive virus outbreak has turned the world to a desolate, apocalyptic wasteland. The undead grow stronger with each passing hour, their hive mind conglomerating every 10 days, resulting in hordes of zombies in staggering numbers. And the only hope humanity has left is... M m me? Wait, it's me. Oh no. I have been destined to survive 100 days in this apocalypse. In this video, you will find fear, growth, messing with the very fabric of reality, and maybe I can turn surviving into thriving in 100 days. Also, we put a lot of work into this video, so if you like it, you should subscribe. And what better way to see if you like it than by starting with day one. Starting off, I spawn in a cryogenic chamber. See, that's how I lived this long. It's totally not just a random building that I spawned in, no. I break my way out and find I start with a pistol, a few rounds, and bread. I go to explore my surroundings and find the first sign that I'm not alone. What, is that an enchanting table? Either someone ate Taco Bell or we're boned. This is still Minecraft, so I chop a few trees, make basic tools, find coal, raw titanium, which sounds important, and found an actual sign of life in this desolate land. It just turns out that sign of life was a seagull and seagulls blow. Uh, oh, you did not. Oh, you uh, Oh, he stole my fucking bread. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Get over here. No, 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 no. You just ate it? You ate the whole bread? What the f Darn. I broke into the next building I saw, and with food supplies incredibly diminished, I broke the cobwebs to craft a makeshift fishing rod. But I took too long, and night was already upon me. Oh, it, it gets dark, dark. This is, this isn't your every old darkness. This is advanced darkness. Oh, no. At night, I tried to fish, and that didn't go well. Oh, that, I don't get the fish because it's behind the wall. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Damn. And do you think they're above me? Nope, nope, they're right there, actually. Oh, they sprint at night. Oh, they sprint at night. The only food I could make was broth from the bones of the undead life that I'd just taken. I named it Boner Broth. Cause I, I mean, come on, that's that's funny. I, it's it, it's boner, no? Well, f ouchies. Combined with zombie flesh, it gives like 24 saturation. That shit's insane. Day two was really mechanic learning day. When you kill a zombie, it alerts the other spawn undead of your presence, and then they beeline it straight for your ass. There's also this nifty day counter thing that doesn't work properly. You'll see what I mean soon. For now, I'm confused about it, but just follow the day counter that we made. That pretty one, that one's accurate. Stupid counter has me thinking it's day three when it's still day two, but that's the least of my worries right now as a roided up baby charged me. Holy, no, 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 not baby Zamble, not baby Zamble, not baby Zamble. I'm trying to make a, I'm trying to make an ax, not baby Zamble. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's zooming. Who gave the baby steroids? I repeat, who gave the baby steroids? Stop it! I spent the rest of the day chopping trees and getting materials. Also, if I get one goddamn comment bitching at me for leaving the trees floating, I am the sole survivor of a zombie apocalypse right now. I don't care if the trees look shitty. Like clockwork, night fell again. And man, have I mentioned how dark it gets. Look, I can't fucking see anything. We're going to max brightness. Did it help? No. Cool. <laughs> Outside isn't safe, so I ventured into a cave to get iron and hopefully shelter. Fuck that! Fuck that! D actually, no. Actually, no, actually, dude. No, no, it's fine. No, that's cool. Did you hear him running on whatever the hell he was running on? Dude! Dude, why? It's Minecraft! This is block game! <laughs> okay, axe the shelter part. I did manage to find some food in the form of golden apples in this, like, prison type building? I'm not sure. What I am sure of is that it's now officially day three. What do you mean three day and the top right says day four? What? What do you mean? <laughs> do I go with is it three day or is it day four? 
Dude, it's so it's so dark in this cave. It's like the fucking void. Three day, I smelt at the iron I've collected. I needed to make some gear if I had any hope of surviving. And I found out about the workbench. See, this pistol says it's from McCrayfish's gun mod. So after a bit of research, that mod completely boils down to this workbench. If I ever want more bullets, I'm gonna need to craft one. But I'm short on resources, so back to the caves I go. I scrounged up enough copper and iron and the world rum hide me that we have survived four days. Six days left until reckoning, and I don't even have a workbench. Day four, I'm manually fixing that day counter. This turns out to be a fool's errand because it's just gonna break itself again in the next couple days. Fuck that thing. More importantly though, the small batch of buildings that I live at barely counts as a town, let alone a city. And they don't have dick in terms of resources. I needed a better place to live. I found an adjacent city and I'm now looking for concrete. I needed to make the workbench, but all these buildings are just made out of terracotta. Go fucking figure. Side note, have I mentioned I fucking hate seagulls? Give me that bread back. It's all I have. Seagulls are a problem, noted, but they pale in comparison to the flesh-eating monsters of this world. Later on, with the sun quickly setting, I killed some pigs as a consolation prize and couldn't find shelter, so I made my own. With seals. Maybe they'll think I'm one of them, and the zombies will leave me alone. Uh-oh. Act natural. Not natural enough! Not natural enough! Okay, they don't care anymore. Okay, they've stopped. They've stopped giving a shit. Okay, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Day five after the seal incident, I found remnants of a civilization and even people. <clears throat> Excuse me, villager. You are ruining the narrative of it's just, I'm just supposed to be the sole survivor of the apocalypse. I'm supposed, I'm the, you're ruining it. You just, you need to get, <clears throat> I am alone. The village is empty. I am a good storyteller. I tell good stories. Whatever, I stole the bed from a village and at night I went to sleep for the first time ever with one eye open and one chamber loaded. Day six, I'm running out of time before I get swarmed. I'm gonna have to take matters into my own hands with this concrete bullshit. So I hunted squids in the ocean and broke bones down for bone meal and then white dye. Putting those two together, I make gray dye and I can make the workbench. Now there's a lot of sick shit that you can make with this workbench. I had no idea about any of this, but with all these recipes and blueprints, I can make weaponry that might be able to stand a chance against the hordes. For now though, I just used iron and gunpowder to make some bullets. Now that I'm not afraid to diminish my supply, I let some rounds fly. Day seven, I was really getting the hang of using this revolver and I stole a cactus, he's important. As I got more comfortable wielding a weapon, I outfitted it with a silencer to hopefully mitigate the boom and the amount of zombies that would hear it. It did jack shit. Yeah, also, you didn't silence shit, my guy. That is still the loudest fucking thing I've ever heard. The rest of the day was just rootin' tootin' zombie shootin', and it started to feel kind of freeing. Day eight, I found out I installed ore excavator, so that's fucking useful. And while mining, I broke into some ancient underwater house. Fucking what is this mod? There was some really good loot in here, a stronger enchanted pickaxe, diamonds, and much more. <gasps> diamonds! Oh, hell yeah. Hey, you shut the fuck up. No one asked. Did anyone ask? Why are you guys so stupid? We have advanced AI turned on and all you guys want to do is jump in the bucket and fucking die. That's like, that's, that, that's all you guys wanted to do. I don't get it. What is so cool about dying in the bucket? Day nine swiftly followed and I knew I had to prepare. A horde would surely show itself tomorrow and I needed to be ready. Then I found this. This revolver isn't quiet, but she packs a punch, and that's fine with me. So I went to make the Ace of Spades. Now that we've made it, how good is this gun? All right. Oh, oh mama. Talk dirty to me, little gun. Side note, today I also added a mini map mod because with how dark these shaders get, you're fucking off your rocker if you think I'm not using a map to not get lost. This is 100 days in a zombie apocalypse, not 100 days looking around like a jackass. But with the chamber hot and special bullets made specifically for the Ace of Spades, I was hopefully ready for whatever was coming next. And day 10, as the sun faded and a dark crimson moon dawned across the sky, I reloaded my revolvers. I leave my mic on for every one of these horde nights so you can hear the raw audio of what happens. Enjoy. And I'm so sorry. Okay. Yep. Horde does horde things now. 
Command works again. Fuck you. Uh, all right, really good at aiming today. I wasn't expecting it to actually work, so, oh, hell yeah. Help me out, buddy. Homie. What a homie, let's go. He's about to like die, but he is a homie. Oh shit! Okay. This is what it's all about. This is what we're here for. Are you poisoned? Oh, you're poisoned. Oh, you're infected. Oh yeah, horde knights can, the zombies can infect you. Jesus, look at that thing. Man, the kickback on this gun. Just, oh, it's so beautiful. This is a lot of zombies for day 10, if we're being fair here. Th this happens, see, here's the thing, is that the original mod has this happen once every 15 days, but I was like, nah, 10. That way it's an even number and it works for the 100 days. That might have been a mistake. All right, look, I gotta break character again. God damn it, I I'm just gonna be transparent. That wasn't a horde. That was a blood moon, and it wasn't supposed to be. I basically fucked up the configs for this world, which is why the horde didn't happen, and the buildings are all underground for the most part. I could have just restarted here, but I wanted to keep in the genuine blind experience of my first couple days, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm copying everything from my inventory to a T, then reconfigging the game and loading a fixed config world and importing my stuff over there and starting from there. So for me, it's hours of work. For you, we're already there. Now, allow me to get back into character. I was having fun. <clears throat> Day 11, I marked this base as the safe house. So I always knew where home was and went off exploring. I broke these spawners because nothing but zombies are allowed to spawn here. So that makes this free XP. So gotta ask, is it normal thunderstorm or is there a zombie that sounds like gunshots? And of course, when I wander, I get bored. And when I get bored, I get stupid. <laughs> Thomas, can you please? I'm gonna send you a bumper sticker. <laughs> Listen, hear me out. I'm gonna send you a bumper sticker, okay? Look, and it's the greatest thing. Can you just put it on screen for me? Can you just do your favor? <laughs> All right, who shit myself? <laughs> I was gallivanting through the city, all happy-go-lucky, exploring my new town, and then this happened. I'm, ju I'm just typing. What do you mean the house of a near? It's day eleven. Oh fuck this, man. Fuck this, dude. I. So I found out why that's not working. So this is the real day ten. Oh, but of course. What's up, fuckers? Anti up. Oh shit fuck. Oh shit fuck! God, the Ace of Spades is a sexy gun. Oh, but it still doesn't one shot that dude. Hey, I was literally about to make more bullets as I started running low. I was gonna do it after making food. And instead, you sent everyone from Tim Buck 2 to Tim Fuck Me. And that's not good. You know, being on a roof is awesome. You guys fucking suck. You can't climb walls. Good lame. Yeah, this makes a bit more sense. Ah! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it about the roof thing! I, it was a joke! It was I, It was a joke to mask my own insecurities about being out of boner broth. I, I'm sorry. Why didn't the drinking the boner juice work? Oh, good. That lowered my health. That lowered my health to drink the boner. I, honestly, shouldn't be surprised. Honestly, really shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Well, good thing they don't know how to function with walls. That'd be a problem. Cool. That did fuck all. There are so many. This is Horde 1. We need, I, I need a machine gun and I need it pronto. Why do you have a sword? Why do you have a sword? When did, when did, when did that become a requirement? When did that become a requirement? You don't need a sword, like legally. Like we don't, we don't need to ha let you have one of those. All right. It looks like the sun is thinking about coming up, which would be great if this revolver held more than six bullets. What do you mean the the horde has? St There's still zombies. They're still doing horde things. There's still quite a few. Okay. 
we could cease now, and that would be fucking dope. Okay, sure. A random horde on day 11. That's fine. This is okay. I got an ender pearl and phantom membrane. So, I mean, am I allowed to be in Firestone? Oh, I can enchant this gun with incinerary rounds. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> Now the hordes work again, and for future reference, we'll fall every 10 days, so 20, 30, 40, etc. This horde wasn't so bad, but they're gonna get worse each and every time, and I'm already out of bullets. So I'm back in the mine, looking for iron. Instead, I found a subway. No, 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 Thomas, not, not that kind of subway. I have found all sorts of bad. I just want iron. This is not iron. Copper will work too, but it makes the shittier bullets. I found two whole iron in this subway, woo, and this diamond axe in this dungeon before I left because it was getting dangerous. We gotta get off the subway, dude. I thought this would take me to a $5 foot long. <laughs> Instead, I'm five inches deep in your mom. Day 13, I smelt that whopping two iron and made me a diamond pickaxe. I made three stacks of basic rounds and special rounds, which depleted all the rest of my resources. Also, just look at the recipe needed to make a Scar H. Block of netherite for the Scar H. Block of net, fuck you. Not an ingot, a full on block. Day 14, I got the enchant fire starter on a book and gave it to my ace of spades and shot a bunch of infected children with it. Lighting them on fire now. Ooh, pretty gun. And a zombie dropped one carrot. That, I mean, that's important, we can farm now. I just wanted to bring that up. There's also a lot of zombies in natural caves, and every time they draw blood, the scent of it just attracts more, so getting iron has become nearly impossible in normal caves. My solution ended up being running in like a bat out of hell and vein mining it faster than they can catch up. After I got to the bottom of the cave, I switched to strip mining, and my efforts were rewarded by the end of the day with those beautiful blue gems. Day 15, I spent too long in the mines, and as the world gives, she takes away just as easily, because a blood moon was rising. Suck it, bitch. I refuse to just let you guys eat my balls. I'm eating my own balls today. You can't sleep during a blood moon, so I just smelted all my iron and tried not to cry like a bitch too hard. Day 16, with all the iron, I made the inferior scar. It's not the best, but it'll do to take out the hordes. But if we're going for a raw bullet spread, you can't beat SMGs. So I had my sights set on the vector. I need 40 concrete for that and a fire charge, which means I need blazes, and only zombies spawn. Fuck. Also, where do you put 40 concrete in a gun? While looking for iron and gravel and sand, I broke my way into a mine teeming with zombies, chest, loot, and bombs. I found a cooking pot and a book called Trigger Finger 2. The writings inside were written in what looks like moon runes, so I pocketed it for now. I did get a lot of iron though, so I'm one step closer to the Uzi. I took day 17 a lot slower. Fixed up the base a bit, made a tree farm because I'm running out of trees and I don't think I'll get any more. And day 18, I'm digging my own mine shaft because it's too dangerous to mine for resources any other way. The hive mind of these zombies makes even the most basic bitch of caves hella perilous. While digging down, I even ran into diamonds. Let's hope that's a good omen. It was not because one minute later, this happened. Ooh, why do I do the things that I do? Why do I play the games that I play? Why am I like this? I could have just waited like fucking three more seconds, but no, no, I had to nearly end the entire run because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I, I, I swear I'm just an idiot sometimes. I, I can't even fit that into the narrative. I'm just really stupid. <laughs> Day 19, I'm down in the damp mines getting every resource I can. I managed to get enough to load my Scar, Uzi, and Ace of Spades revolver. Just in time too, because after donning iron gear, yeah, that's all I've got, I was ready for the horde. You hear the howls of a nearby horde, which means I need to get the fuck up very quickly. But I got guns. Check out this Scar. It's got a silencer. It does nothing. All right. We got friends, I guarantee you. Yep, there they are on that mini map. They're all out over here. Oh, that'll work. Woo, demons. Located. I don't want to go down there. It seems like staying big uppies is kind of like good. Hello, goodbye. God, this gun turns me on with how good it shoots. Thomas, don't keep that in. Holy shit. Hey, friends, good 
to meet ya! <laughs> this gun can also be used as a light source. Oh, look at all this shit. Hell yeah, baby. I saw you. Thought I fucking didn't. The air is quiet. It does not feel very quiet, nor does it look it. So I did manage to live Horde 2. There was a couple more mobs, but it wasn't overwhelming, so I don't really see this as a huge achievement. Regardless, I did manage to live. So now we're gonna prep for the next one because I'm gonna make it much worse. Trust me, it's gonna get bad. And because of that, I need to prepare. So I'm back to grinding diamonds for gear and new guns. Fast forwarding a bit, cause it took me a whole two days, but now I have 30 diamonds, which is finally enough for a full set of gear. So naturally, I only made a chest plate and pants. Cause I mean, I might need the diamonds, dude. I don't know, save for sorry shit. I don't have to explain myself to you. Day 23, I made an arcane portal to take me to the under, and I have a reason as to why. See, in the nether, if we find piglins, I can trade gold with them, and they have a chance to drop fire charges, which will give me the last piece I need to build the vector. So I went exploring the literal hellscape, where I found this. Oh my god. Let's go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Piglins drop fire charges. Wait a minute. Brain! Brain, it's doing something! It, those are the those are the sounds of my brain. They're, they're activating. Hold on. Hold on. I know how to get fire charges. Hello? Would you like to get unrobbed at a slightly lower robbing rate? Oh, I hit him. I didn't mean to hit him. Hey, there's gold. Hey, there's really fun gold. You did not watch your friend die. You are looking at gold. So you have you could not be mad possibly because you are looking at gold. It is it is money. You are looking at financial gain, my friend. I'm just going to build us a home as we gain financially together. Lesson 1 in capitalism. Never trust anyone. Lesson two in capitalism, never put away your gun. With the evidence burned and no one to speak of what I had done and three fire charges in my inventory, I tried to leave the nether and it went bad. Fuck! They're way smarter. Fine. I'm also better, but because I have gun. I did manage to escape this dimension for now with the essence of fire for my new guns. I tried to make the vector right after, but oh yeah, 40 concrete. Yeah, I forgot, fuck. How do you even put 40 concrete blocks in a gun? Where's it gonna fucking fit? You just shoving it down the barrel? Like this is fucking stupid. I did finally manage to craft the elusive and expensive vector by the end of the day. And after gearing it up with bullets and such, I was ready for a little adventure. Day 25, and what better way to learn how this gun is than to test it out in the field? And oh boy, does the vector fire fast. Day 26, I found another abandoned town and started helping myself to everything left behind. I'm mainly looking to steal their bookshelves for some witchcraft, but I won't complain about the diamond hoe, aqua affinity enchant, and everything else I got. I'm almost numb to seeing the undead by this point, but this guy stood out because he dropped an ender pearl. So I think I'm gonna start a collection. I almost drowned trying to break my way into this base cause I'm an idiot. By nightfall, I was set on all the books to make shelves, but it's now super dark. So I had to blindly run my way back home. That's dangerous, don't recommend that. And it's not fun with the fucking insanity shaders. It was worth it though, because day 27, I built an enchanting table for my diamond gear and pickaxe. It's pretty much an essential in Minecraft to get fortune three for your resources. So I got it. And then the craziest thought occurred to me. Can I put guns in the enchantment table? Then well, <laughs> folks. Yes, you can. <gasps> oh, you can enchant the guns with more than just books. Oh, that fucking changes things. I know where I'm putting all my levels from now on. We got fortune three, that's all I fucking need. I'm fucking set. Day 28, I was so excited, I literally shot myself in the foot. Fuck. Fuck, that is the wrong button. I have just literally shot myself in the foot. Like, literally, like, I just, I... 
I'm not a very smart person. And headed down my mine yet again for more diamonds. Hopefully for the last time in these entire 100 days. We'll cut to the chase because strip mining is dull. I can make full diamond armor now, yeehaw. But oh, viewer. I'd like to take this time to remind you that you are on Eclipse. If you're new or don't know what that means, it means I'm batshit insane. I've been trying to build a nice little narrative for this project, and I'm loving it. But here's the thing. The zombie hordes ain't cutting it. They're too easy. Where's the drama, the fear, the intensity, you know? Well, I have a solution. Day 29, I opened up the configs for the horde mod, and I'll let real time me show you what I did. Okay, so I just, I, this is a dumb idea. It's not smart. But if we open the configs for hordes, uh, specifically common, we have all the commands for the hordes. And there's this, there's, there's this one right here called spawn multiplier. And basically each time a horde happens, um, the, uh, the amount of mobs increases by 0 0.05. What, what am I just? And max number of entities that can exist from the horde at once, 50. No, there are now 100 that are allowed to be here at once. I mean, fuck it, we ball. Okay, I'm gonna need a bigger gun. Now that the hordes are gonna be ludicrous to say the least, I need more bullets. So I spent the whole day getting some. He get back up. He fall down and get back up. Are they getting smarter? Look, I did not change that in the configs. I also enchanted my vector with the enchantment fire starter and reclaim, whatever that does. Then it was time to see what the horde can really do. Did I break it, like, again? Like, th there's no horde on night 30. Is this night 30, or does that day counter just do, do whatever it fucking wants? Like, like, uh, or is it day seven? This could be day 45 for all I fucking know. I, I think I've ruined it. I think that may be too many zombies, and it might not be okay with it. Hi, little guy. Abomination. Oh, no, it works! Oh, no, it works. Okay. So, yeah, dead on midnight. Got it. Got it. Let's do it. Where they at? Why are you in gold? And stronger. Ooh. This isn't good. Oh, he dropped a fucking diamond. Oh, and I'm burning the house down with the incinerary rounds. Well, that's a problem. Oopsies. Um, Smokey the Bear's gonna be pissed. Where the fuck are they? Are you all stuck over here? Ha! Huh? Dumbasses don't know how doors work. Oh, God. What's that saying about biting off more than you could chew? Maybe about Icarus or something? We're on day 30. This is only gonna get much worse. Fuck yeah. I'm here for it. I am so here for this. How are we doing on bullets? Terrible, got it. Back to the Volver. This is definitely a lot more, the trident? You have a fucking trident! Why, how, where can I get one? The trident store, did it open without my knowledge? I'm sorry I missed the grand opening of Tridents R Us. Did you just take a headshot from the Ace of Spades and, and not care. Oh. Oh, fuck me. I need the little text popping up saying the horde's gonna stop fucking my ass now, please. I'm out of bullets. Like, nearly completely. What the fuck is day 100 gonna be like? Am I even gonna make it? I really shouldn't have upped it, but this is fun. Oh, the reunion. Hey guys, you guys just get out of Tritons R Us? I expended all my bullets in the souped up horde, so I had to make more. Problem though, I'm running low on gunpowder needed for like every type of bullet. Luckily, outside the safe house was this path that I followed to an abandoned base with tons of stuff. I also found a little city on the outskirts and this might be weird to say, but this world is oddly beautiful in a depressing sort of way. The shaders make this game oddly peaceful. Like, let's just take a second. 
Isn't this relaxing? Fuck you, seagulls! Oh, fuck it's Darko! Fuck it's Darko! Fuck it's Darko! Fuck it's Darko! Take back everything I said! Fuck it's seagulls! Where? No, 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 no. I'm going to end you. That's an elephant. Thought it was the world's biggest zombie. I just saw the fattest ass in the darkness and fear struck my very core. Again, it happened again. I shot an elephant. I'm sorry. As if shooting an elephant and having the elephant mafia come for me wasn't bad enough. A fucking blood moon spawned. Great. Is it gonna make the elephants angrier? <laughs> I'm, I have to know this. Oh, it's so scary. While this did stress me out, I have to say, it's one of the most fun things I've ever had playing block game. McCray's gun mod is so fun during a blood moon. Having lots of targets to go boom at is just so nice. I felt a wicked sense of joy at all the carnage I was bringing. This was the start of something more visceral. We need to go deeper. <clears throat> Anyways, killing a lot of zombies is fun, but it was also making my chest full of a lot of junk, so... If you're subscribed, please stand up for our channel anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a big one. Everyone that's new here just doesn't know what the fuck's about to happen, but here we go. It's time for Organization! That one was special, and why is it so special? Because I got fucking merch, baby! You can buy this organization t-shirt as well as all these other awesome designs like this 100k one, because I don't know if you know, but we hit that recently. If you want these designs on shirts, mugs, cups, fucking mouse pads, go to EQ Shop Live right now. I mean, screw the video, like you can come back. Link's also in the description, and it's been a hot minute since I've dropped merch of any kind. So if you guys like these designs, I mean, I can maybe make more in the future. Wait, wait, wait uh, Kurt, what? cut the merch ad. What do you, what? Again? Again! Uh, again! Fuck this. Buy my merch. Uh-oh. There's more this time. Yeah, up the zombies, ZQ. This is a great idea. Fucking excellent. Really smart. Shit me. Are we really clicking on empties here? Okay. I did not even hit that guy. Like that that I, I that crosshair did not even connect with him. I don't know why he fell over. Man's just acting at this point. Oh my lord. So much fodder. I wonder how many we could just get behind me. Wonder how many I could just train. First off, the infants, they must go. Second, shooting range. At a shooting range, you're not supposed to run out of bullets. Uh, that was that was awkward. Oh, there is a counter. Thomas, zoom in on it. You can't really see it because the roll button, which I forgot you could even do. There, there's a counter. The amount of zombies I kill in a row, I think makes them more aggressive. And I'm at 19 on this chain. 20. Blood moon sets and the undead begin to burn. Well, one, they don't. And two, can I please go organize now? I got more shit to throw in there now. Look what you did. Okay, now it's organization time. I spent the next real life hour putting away all my shit nice and neat. So here's just a speed up of that. So you don't have to suffer like I did. There's no mods in this pack to make this quicker either. Like I get it, we're in the wasteland, but still fuck organizing, man. By the way, that merch stuff wasn't a joke and I got more designs coming soon. Moving right along to day 37, the next horde is coming up fast. So I smelted all my unsmelted ores today, including that titanium from earlier. And I guess I did a little sightseeing. What's he doing? What are you, what are you up to? What is that? What is that motion? It's so stupid looking. What, what are you, what, what, stop. Day 38 with all this copper, we have a new objective, shotgun. Specifically the USAS 12. And since I just organized all my stuff, I was able to find just enough iron to craft it. And um, the safety was off. That shot through a window. I don't know why I'm surprised, but I am. That shot through a fucking window. Hell yes. Day 39, my new red and black baby needed some enchants and a name, but enchants come first, and oh my god, we got an enchant called Overcapacity, bringing the amount of shells that this can hold from 6 to 20. And as if the game knew I needed to test this out immediately, it gave me another fucking blood moon. Oh, really? Oh, so we're just doing that now. 
Is is the blood moon like every three days? Like, I'm glad this didn't happen to stack on a horde night, I guess. But it got really close. God, I love this pistol. It needs overcapacity, I've decided. I'm gonna make like 20 ace of spades and then put them all together. And I'll make a insane revolver. Day 40 is here and like clockwork, I'm out of bullets again. So I made more of those and I made some attachments like the muzzle brake for my shotgun, tightening its spread. I also made the Maxim pistol, but it's kind of shitty, so don't worry about them. The Ace of Spades is still our best bet. A zombie spawned on a chicken and I promptly freaked out because I haven't seen a chicken in this game yet, and I stole its feathers. But ho oh, ho, would you look at the time. If you remember, I upped the configs from a 5% increase to a 20% increase, which means every horde is gonna have 20% more mobs than the last. But if that doesn't sound crazy enough, you should just see for yourself. And here is the horde. Let's do it. Oh, baby! Small child. Cool. Oh, not cool, not cool, not cool. I am gonna call the authorities. I think I am the only authority. Hey, you're bigger. You're really, you're, that's not the right size. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. I, damn it! They're having a two for one at Trident's R Us again? Son of a bitch! Stop! Throwing forks at me! Fuck it. You know what we gotta use. Maybe, maybe doubling it and giving it to the next person wasn't a good idea. Look at all the cool stuff I get. Like a birch tree. Woo! Oh, shit! Spray and pray! Yeah! Yeah! What, motherfuckers? You do not seem to give a rat ass about this fucking Uzi. We need a better Uzi, I need that P90. Ah, oh, cool, an unbreaking two shovel. Thank you. All right. Who's your daddy? Because of the increase in mobs that are designed to fuck my ass, I now have a need for more iron. Luckily, the mountain we have here is like broken because of the city spawn generation, so we can just like use the water to grind iron and coal. I even got a bit more adventurous and went to the top of the mountain where I found this. Is that a village? Suspended in air. Well, that's just cheating. Found the people that lived the zombie apocalypse. They just fucking started levitating. That's... That's a little unfair. This entire village is floating. And when I went to loot it, the whole map with the fog and shit looked like Silent Hill. This was terrifying and I knew any wrong step would be my end. I didn't even stay long and I nearly fell while escaping from this island. Day 42, we're back at the base and farming. Farming is safe. Farming is not death. You can't fall from a, a million blocks in the sky when you're farming. So now I'm farming. Since killing a lot of zombies dropped me potatoes and carrots, I decided to make said farms. I put those at the bottom of my base and it seemed to be perfect timing because a harvest moon began to rise. A harvest moon just like quadruples the speed the crops grow. It's kind of neat. Hey! Oh, that, that, you're gonna think it was planned. Go my crops grow my children! Grow! On to day 43, and with the influx of mobs, I think it's finally time to make a full set of diamond gear. I even went to enchant all of it, and this is what I came up with. What does long footed do? I have long feet now. Diamond armor is well good and all, but afterwards I had an epiphany. I think I found some cheese. Cheese? Okay, so here's the play. In this game, you can make boner broth. Of course, I've talked about it at length. But the cool thing about it is that it gives 24 saturation. Vein Miner takes out a lot of your saturation though. So with boner broth, that isn't a problem. And now I can use my diamonds to vein mine my way into the netherite and get so much ancient debris. In one day, I was able to vein mine like three netherite ingots worth. Day 44, I'm smelting all my netherite before heading back to the nether to get more. <laughs> What do you mean getting an upgrade? <laughs> Woo! Stone pickaxe, boys! 44 days in! Stone pickaxe, boys! What? Dude. 
People will say it's x-ray. People will say it's x-ray, but nope. Nope, I'm just that awesome. Day 45, we crafted the fucking P90. Basically a souped up version of my normal SMG. I spent the day running around looting shit and testing out our new baby. And yeah, the P90 shoots fast. Hey, how's the P90? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's lovely. Day 46, I'm just playing around shooting things with my cavalcade of bullets. And once again, I find out that the game looks really aesthetic. Later that day, after I was done goofing off, I found a crazy dungeon at the bottom of a train station. This dungeon had gold, diamonds, and somehow even blazes! I really need blazes! Blaze powder! Blaze rods! Diamonds! Hell and God Apple! What the fuck? Diamonds, emeralds, gold, blazes! The mother load has been achieved! Day 47, I'm still down here, and I found another special room which was identical, giving me all the iron I could ever need, plus gold, emeralds, and diamonds. The whole lot. I got so excited looting all these dungeons that I ran directly into the next one. That was a mistake. Just for pretense, just, just in case you guys didn't know, I have arachnophobia. With this knowledge, please enjoy the next clip. This is about to be bad. Did you see the spider do the thing? What the fuck? Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. If you're new to Eclipse, I have arachnophobia out the ass. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I have, I have a gun. I, the, I need the fire gun. I need to set fire to everything. Ha! Oh, oh, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. After that shit, my senses kicked in and I ran my happy ass home. I spent the rest of the day getting more netherite because there's no spiders in the nether and I'll need it for more guns and gear in the future. Day 48 and my notes here just says, no father. Like I just, uh, like like my note, it says day 48, no father. What, what does this fucking mean? I, I don't even know what I wrote. So I guess roll the clip of whatever no father meant. Here you go. Oh my God, chicken. <sighs> you didn't drop a feather, you fuck. God, I'm such an idiot. The big thing about day 48 was that I found these locals that harassed me in my base. Killing the head of their party gave me the bad omen effect. In Minecraft, when you get bad omen, you head to a village with villagers and summon a raid. So naturally, Fuck! I'm out. Oh, I'm fucking out. Hey, uh, improved vexes? You don't gotta get close or nothing, and they're already coming. That's mine, bitch! It's still go- I'm out. I'm out. I got a totem. That's all I wanted. So I barely lived that raid, even with the iron golem almost killing me, but, but, but I did live. And that means I get to take home not one, but two totems of undying. I was really feeling myself, and with ego inflated and bloodlust insatiable, I decided to make another mistake. You see this mod? This mod turns off all other mobs except for zombies. But on day 49, I went back into the configs and turned them all back on, except for the spiders, because fuck that. Like I said, I'm actually arachnophobic. Fuck them and fuck you. Those spider things aren't coming back. But every other mob is back on. Endermen, creepers, skeletons. And with all the mobs back on, I made tons of ammunition because we're back at another horde, baby. Oh, they have good aim too? Fuck you. This was a mistake. Um, you guys don't get to just spawn the next horde wave while I'm dealing with this one of like a fucking thousand. Oh, 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 that's a lot. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, hey, more gunpowder, more bullets. This is, this is chainable. We can do it. We will be fine. Yep, I found the crew. Luckily, they're too stupid to do anything when a wall is involved. 
Oh, but they have archers now. And the homies are already in prime butt-fucking position. They are here. They are ready to fuck. I really think we're getting to the point where there's too many zombies for me to put bullets in if I'm just the only one shooting. I have a plan, though. I'm out of bullets. Got more bullets. Oh, Enderman. You cannot shoot them with gun. I, I repeat, Enderman immune to gun. Where are y'all? Do you even know where you are? Is the sound design on this so borked? A little bit. Do you still get to just literally evaporate zombies? Fuck yeah, you do. And now I'm hungry. Hey! Okay. Um, three stacks of shotgun shells. That was a lot of enemies. Okay, status report about how that horde just went. There's a lot more zombies than last time. And with creepers walking however the fuck they're walking, that makes this really, really threatening. We need backup. So I'm making turrets. Using that raw titanium, I became a turret parent. Oh, it shoots. Nuggets. Go, you have a target. Aim. No, I want to break. You have a health bar? I am the target now, huh? Huh, you're turning on me? That, is that what this is? I will destroy you. Shoot the zombie down there. Like this. Look, now your turn. You are the worst son ever. You did it. Now if you stop aiming at me and aimed at him, maybe you'd be allowed at Thanksgiving. God fucking damn it. All right, this is your brother. He's also going to be right next to you. We're gonna give him cobblestone and he's gonna be a good turret that does what their master tells them to do. You shoot the things that are not me. It's not a hard concept. There is literally no friendlies in this world except you guys. That's why I'm talking to you. All you have to do is hit everything that is not this. It's, it's very simple. Please. So after the successful turret build, I thought I'd set my sights a little higher and build an entire plane. I'm serious. Using a lot of copper, an engine, and four years of college gone to waste, I built a biplane. It runs on coal and does this. This is technically flying. Hell yeah. I just made a whole ass, this was way easier than I thought it would be to make an entire fucking plane. I mean, he flies a little little goofy, but there's a plane. Oh, there we go. Oh, now we're getting it. Now we're cooking with gas. Why are there logs in the sky? How do you slow down? Have we talked about that yet? If not, why not? How come this has never crossed my mind? I only pressed space like a little bit. Okay, we're gonna try and land. We're gonna, we're gonna, Yep, yep, uh, land. We're gonna, and just like that, we stopped on a fly and it nearly fucking killed me. Good, no, wonderful, no, no, it's <laughs> fucking fantastic. Now that I have a plane, I can explore much quicker and easier. So I'm off looking for anything to get my little loot goblin hands on today. Side note, this thing extends so fucking slowly. Like, look at this, look, fucking look at this. It's just, it one, one Y level every four days. It's fucking ridiculous. I did manage to find a village with actual villagers this time that isn't gonna be murdered in a raid, which means I have a plan. Day 54, I got the emeralds I need and a lectern and very quickly found myself with, ta-da, five mending books. I mean, I did smack a villager, but I mean, I've smacked elephants today, so like, it's not really important. Here's a couple clips for the next couple days because I got a lot of netherite. I've got a plan for this, and you might know where I'm going with this. By the end of day 58, I had a whopping 31 ancient debris. And if you combine those with the two that I have back at home, just sitting in a chest, we can make all of those into netherite ingots and get enough for the scar, baby. I can make a scar H if I made nothing else. 
I can, hold on. I can make a Scar H right now if I make nothing else. If I use all of this, like I, we stay diamond bitches and I use every netherite ingot that I can make to make a diamond block, I can make a fucking, where is it? There it is. Scar H. Day 59 seemed like the perfect time for a weapon upgrade. So instead of making armor like swords and shit, I put all of it into one block and made the Scar H. All right, time to test the piss gun. Ha! Oh. <laughs> and it's a fully auto bitch. Ha! Oh. <laughs> I ended the day by enchanting the Scar H with Trigger Fingers 2 and Quick Hands. There's no better way to test out a gun though than with a 50% increased horde. Yeah, that's right. I upped the horde numbers again. Who jamming? Who vibing? Yeah, we're gonna ignore that. Are you jamming? You totally were. Well, in times like this, I think it's only appropriate. <laughs> oh, I need the better clip mod, dude. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, um, done fucked it. By the way, quick hands reload faster. That's, that's its perk. Okay. All right, I have decided that we are at a good amount of zombies. Oh, oh my god. And this is only wave one of six. Yes. There will be 50% more next time compared to this. It's okay, we're about to invest in bombs. Speaking of which. Yeah! Oh, that was sick! Fuck yeah, dude. All right, listen, listen, son. Son and other son, I really need you guys to come through and help with the murdering of fucking any of these guys. You're right, just shoot at them. J why do you hate me? Why do the turrets suck dick? There is a story, a fable, if you will, about a young man named Icarus. <laughs> Holy shit. It's, it real, th this is, this is literally insane. There's so many. Shotgun, best gun. Shotgun, best gun. Who is throwing tritons, motherfucker? How, how, how have they not kicked you out of tritons are us yet? This is some bullshit. The air is quiet. Oh, we survived. We are now getting to the point where the game is actually lagging my 4070 Ti and i9-12900K. Or if you don't speak computer nerd, big good computer. It's just dropping frames. Any sane person would maybe relax on the number of zombies, but me? Nah, we're just gonna keep going. Day 61, to deal with all of these entities, I made a grenade launcher, which led to me nearly blowing myself up. And I ran off to the nether, but not for netherite this time, I promise. There is a pistol called the Golden Hawk, and it does 40 damage a shot. For perspective, the Ace of Spades that I've been using this whole time does 25 damage a shot. This gun is insane, and likewise, the recipe is nutty including a nether star, meaning I need to pop a cap in the wither's ass. So I found a fortress and got to blasting. Hey, I got one, holy shit, ah, holy shit. I'm on fire now that I have one. Can you all go away? I just want to kill the skeletons. No, that ain't a word. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so flustered. I got a head, I got one, I got one. I need two more, let's fucking do this shit. Things were going well, all things considered until I fell. You fucking bitch, who hit me before I fell? Oh, you fucking bitch. Oh, you fucking bitch. I was like, man, this is gonna be a boring couple of days as I get, nope, not boring. Not boring, I will hide in fucking box now. This is my new home. Uh, this is where we're spending the rest of the 100 days. It's just you, me, and this grenade launch. I'm not gonna press it. I, I, that would be a terrible idea. Oh my God. Oh, that's not good. Thank God we have two. And now we're down one totem. Fuck. Two. I just need one more and then I can leave. Fuck. 
So end of day 62, I'm at two Wither Skulls, down one Totem of Undying, and a Blaze is just pissing. Typical day. Day 63, I find the final Skull with just one clip left in my shotgun. Afterwards, I made my way back to the safety of the overworld to spawn and promptly murder the Wither. How long do you think that's gonna take, by the way? Usually with swords, it takes like 40 seconds. Maybe a bow is, is like with power five would be better. H how do you think a gun will fare against the Wither Abomination? Can I just shoot you to death? I really hope so, because I didn't bring anything else. I brought just gun. Lovely. <laughs> Absolutely. Is that a heart container? Fuck it. I get this one. I, I threw away the spirit orbs because I, I was being nice, but fuck you. That one's mine. <laughs> so day 64, the next ingredient on our random list of shit to make a Glock is the heart of the sea. You can only get these from buried treasure, so I got in my biplane and flew over the ocean till I found a sunken ship and grabbed a map. Then it fucking turned night, and finding the chest became harder and infuriating. I cannot stress enough how dark the insanity shaders are. I know you guys are gonna complain about it in the comments below, but it's just as bad for me. I can't see shit at night. I did manage to find the chest with vein miner and sand. I mean, I just was breaking everything. And luckily it did have a heart in it. So now that I've got everything I need, I'm going back home. Day 65, we make the golden hawk, baby. I use netherite, heart of the sea, a nether star, and diamonds to make the golden hawk. We can make this motherfucking golden hawk. Cannot be dyed, so the color will do nothing. So there it is. Ace of spades, I think it's finally time to retire you. <laughs> I also enchanted it, because that's a staple. And as if the gods were waiting for the perfect moment, what better way to try out a new gun than with the one of two things that it always is, a horde or another fucking blood moon. And yes, I've confirmed it, piss Glock is good. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's actually getting really dicey during blood moons now. There's like a lot of mobs. I wonder how that happened. I did survive the Blood Moon, but shot off every round I had in the process. Now that my bloodlust has been satiated, I spent the next day putting away stuff and- Oh! <coughs> Ugh. Sorry. I got something in my throat. Where was I? Oh, yeah. I'm prepping something special in the background, Day 66. That something is the camera mod. Look, we're in an apocalypse, and it's dark, it's gritty, it's sad. But this is Eclipse. I gotta have a little fun. The camera mod lets me upload any image I want and make a painting of it. So naturally, perfect. I made a fuck ton of those just to put some fun stuff around the base because I'm a child at heart. Mudfish Pokemon. Large mudfish Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, I'm an idiot. However, on day 69, let me show you the real reason for me adding this mod in. Every 100 days I make on this channel, I make a sign to commemorate funny sex number on day 69. And I wanted to do it in the same theme as a zombie apocalypse, instead of just building a sign out of black stone and glowstone, you know? So I pulled up Photoshop and made this sign that I will unveil to you now. There we go, that's better. Nice. 69, also it's fucking raining, thanks. I made it out of bullet holes, dude. That's fucking sick. I think it really fits the theme of zombie apocalypse. And as day 69 was wrapping up, what's after it? Oh fuck, it's 70, more zombies. Day 70 came around and I just realized I'm out of gunpowder. I'll get more from the horde, but I'm gonna need bullets for said horde. Speaking of which. Also, yeah, we're reaching the limit of what my PC wants to be able to handle, so pardon the lag in some fucking spots. All right. That's the sound I like to hear. Give me some fucking music. Oh, the game's getting a little choppy. Yes, everyone in a straight line now. Perfect. Good job, single file, single file. Thank you, thank you. Hey, 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 slow down. Well, it's a good way to count how many zombies there are when my fucking ch gun runs on empty, then I've killed 35. 
Is this... Are we really... You guys aren't very smart. You, you guys are not very smart. That was 40. That was 40 zombies just, just being absolute brainless. Okay. Oh, shit. That's another one. Uh-oh. We gotta kill these guys faster. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Leaving now! Running now! This is why we have the big guns! Literally! There's so much XP on the ground, and Trident's R Us is having a fucking big blowout sale. Fuck, dude. This is not going well. Holy shit! So it might have gone a bit too far this time, boys. No, not again! Not another wave! You're gonna crash the game! No, 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 no. Okay. They're coming from this way. We have to clear. We have to clear some bitches out. We have to. They're not gonna burn in the sun. There's so many. There's just so, there's just so many. There's just so many. Fully out of the scar. Fully out of the scar and we need, we need that fucking over, uh, overloaded, like, enchant. Uh, shotgun still seems most versatile. Yeah. Okay. So it's so it's somehow much worse. It's almost like I upped. Oh, it's a blood moon. Oh no! Fucking wonder. Holy mother and fuck. So many. There's just so many. I think there's a whole set over there that don't even know I'm alive. We're, we're out? I'm empty? Oh, bro, that's not good. Literally used all the bullets for the, for the wave. Every one of them. So we won that wave, and I'm gonna double them next time. I swear, this 100 days is either gonna win with me dying to a billion zombies or my computer exploding. <laughs> We're gonna take a bit to side quest here a little though. Getting a bit sidetracked and doing a bonus mission, so to speak. Look, I wanna shoot a dragon. Hear me out. I want shoot the dragon. That's an elephant, don't shoot the elephant. Don't shoot the elephant, don't shoot the elephant. Don't, don't shoot the elephant. Sorry, I just, I had to make sure I didn't shoot the elephant. Minecraft is still Minecraft, so I want to see what these arms will do against a fucking dragon, the Ender Dragon. So I use the Ender Pearls I've been collecting and Blaze Powder together to make the eyes of Find the Fucker. You guys know how it works though, everyone has played Minecraft before. So day 72, I popped into the Stronghold. The Stronghold was a Young's one and that pissed me off because I can never find the portal in this maze-like fucking hell. However, with the mini map at the top left, I was able to find the portal. This ain't right! Incorrect! Wrong locale. Sorry, guys. My my room's on a different floor. Goodbye. And there's the portal. I jumped right in and was ready to shove my Glock in her face. Perch, bitch. I'm just going to unload everything I have onto you without breaking the crystals. We're going to see what happens. Oh, when it's perched, you can't. Oh, you immortal bitch. Bullets weren't doing shit. She was just regenning too fast, and I couldn't hit her when she perched, so I had to take out the crystals. But when I did, this happened. Oh! That's fucked up! That's a fucked up amount of damage! That is a actually fucked amount of damage. Goodbye! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, you didn't stand a fucking chance! You didn't stand a chance against the piss Glock. I have no words. That was beautiful.
I elected to not go get Elytra to keep it in the theme of gritty zombie apocalypse, so I hopped back in the portal and went home that day. Day 73 through 75, on the come down of that dragon fight, I sat back and mined some more netherite, cause the scar and pisk lock are nice, but I need more weaponry! I'll cut to the chase though, because fuck netherite grinding, you don't want to see it. Day 76, it's new gun time. There's only a couple more guns out of this roster that interest me, and the absolute top of the list is the Shrike. Shriek? Shri Shri I don't fucking know how to pronounce it. To make the Shrike, you need seven. Count them. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks of iron, and like 40 more iron, and like iron nuggets. Okay, a lot of iron. And I don't have a lot of iron. So I ventured forth back to the subway yet again, hoping to find more secret rooms with iron blocks. By the end of the day, I found the booty. The next day, I rode the train back to my base and finally made the fucking Shrike. Shriek, Shrock, Shri- Someone will tell me in the comments. I, I hope. There it is. The Shrike. The Shrook. The Shroki. The way too fucking expensive. Created. God, that took forever. You better be awesome. This gun can full auto, and it's strong enough to finally fight back against the insane zombie horde. Even better, I gave it over capacity three as an enchant, and it went from being able to hold 60 bullets to 150 per mag. Now we're getting somewhere. Now I'm not one to be unfair. I get a crazy powerful gun, I make the game harder. In this case, adding a mod that makes all zombies that can't get to me be able to summon riding phantoms. Are we going too far? Did you just summon a phantom to fly to me? Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up adding that mod. I should have realized that this was a bad sign when my game had noticeably dropped frames. Like, we're getting like 27 frames a second now. I think I've added too many zombie mods and put too many guys in. But I'm sure that's not gonna like cause any catastrophe in the future, right? Day <clears throat> 79, my game crashed. Like, like crash crashed. Like it's not, <laughs> it's not opening anymore. Day 80 was also spent trying to reopen the game because like uh, the, the amount of zombies and mods I added, I think kind of killed it. I ended up having to remove the zombie riding phantom shit and lower my render distance and change my graphics to fast, but the game runs again. The game runs so perfectly, you can enjoy this PowerPoint presentation I made to prove it. Here's day 80. Oh my God. Oh! Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Go up, go up, go up. Go up, go up, away! Up, up, and away! Fuck you! Who hit me? Why are there so many? Who could have possibly be the blame for how, how many there are down here? Who could it possibly be? Oh, fucking God. Oh, my God! That's just... That's death. That's computer death. You're gonna break my game. <laughs> There's so fucking many! Okay, okay, calm down. Okay, computer, computer, five frames? Five frames, computer, five frames at least. Come on, come on, I need, I need five frames. <laughs> Don't spawn another way, I can't, the game will die. The game will. <laughs> I can't even take it seriously. I can't even take it seriously. Oh fuck! I want to point out I'm running a 4070 Ti and an i9 and 64 gigs of RAM. And none of it matters. None of it. <laughs> I have brought Minecraft to its fucking knees. Oh, found more. Gentlemen, lovely to see you today. Oh, oh fuck. Dude, that's one frame! It's one! How am I supposed to... I am watching a PowerPoint presentation of a 100 days. That is what this is. I spent 100 days in Microsoft Paint. The air is quiet. Yeah, my fucking graphics card isn't... He's screaming. He's screaming for release. He wants to be ejected from this mortal coil. Do you think we hit the max amount of entities yet? Notice how the game calms the fuck down after grenades fly. I respect you, game. 
You're doing your absolute best. So is this gun. Now that I can use it. Oh, hell yeah. Just rip and tear and tear and hi, Enderman. And rip and tear. God fucking. Ah. Oh. Never fails. What? Stop it. Okay. So, oh, this computer cannot last another two waves. Um, this mod pack cannot last another two waves with what we have currently done to it. So I fixed nothing. That's the conclusion I've come to. It, I, I, <laughs> I think I've gone too far and broke the game. Day 81, you can chalk up to EQ's tech support day. I ended up having to stop recording, restart my whole PC, delete a lot of files, and uninstall that other mod that was aforementioned, and finally, she runs again. And now would be the time to turn down the mob rate so I don't turn day 90 into a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation on how to cook a graphics card, but I'm EQ. So instead, I just made more bullets and hoped my graphics card would hold out. One thing that I knew would help in these hordes of hundreds of zombies was to make like a section of the world that's completely flat to funnel their AIs into. So that's what I did. I spent the next few days leveling the buildings adjacent to my house and making the area super flat. Also, don't worry, you can't shoot cobwebs, guys. I checked. Day 83, my ass is still chopping down buildings. Day 84, same shit, different day. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna take the time to plug some stuff. Did you know I have a second channel? Subscribe to it, link in the description. Okay, that's it. Oh, and subscribe here too. Day 85 is the last day I'm renovating? Demolish is too harsh of a word. Uh. We're gonna go with renovating the neighborhood. And by the end of it, I have a completely flat terrain. Now I'm gonna build some walls to funnel the millions of zombies into the arena for us to fight. Day 86, I'm building up that arena. And at the time I thought this was a genius idea. And it was, if I wasn't stupid, but I'm really stupid. And before this ends, this arena will be useless. For now though, I'm lighting it up so I can finally see good. For the first time in this whole 100 days, things are visible. Now that the arena has been built, so has my magnum opus. I made a fucking bazooka and then put over capacity on it. Over, over, you, you can put over capacity on a bazooka. What are, how am I shoving more shit down there? You can't, you can't do that. Day 88, I moved the turret family and they better help me out on day fucking 90. And with a bazooka, turrets and arena and lots of bullets, you fucking turrets. Just shoot at it. Here, it's it's hostile. Shoot it. Why do I even bother? Why do I even why do I even fucking bother, dude? <laughs> why do I even try? I had a little bit of extra time before the wave of day ninety, so I went back to art class. No, I'm not joking. I pulled up fucking MS Paint and made a sign that you should all follow. There it is. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I I tried to make a serious video, guys. I really, I tried to make a dark and gritty zombie apocalypse 100 days. I, tr I tried, but the intrusive thoughts won, okay? Day 90 is here. And just to remind you all, day 80 turned my computer into a toaster oven. So unless I fixed it, we're gonna have a problem. Zombie versus computer, fight. The training is working. Drop it full auto. That's safety. That's semi again. Hey, 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 whoa, hey, 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 hey now, hey now. Oh, God. They're too fast, there's too many of them. What the fuck is that thing? Well, so that works, good to know. Fun fact, I added more zombies. Why? Because I... I'm starting to think I'm a masochist, man. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not something with a brain. They're rooting and shooting over here. Oh, my turrets, my turrets. They finally helped Papa. They finally helped Papa. I can't say the word Papa. They finally helped Papa. Uh oh, uh oh. <gasps> well, that works great. Sorry, Floor. I'm gonna have to fix you later. Oh, they're coming from both sides. That's not good. Holy shit! They 
god, they're dropping tons of gunpowder. There's just so many. You guys ever played Plants vs. Zombies? Me either, but I, I would assume it's like this. On like the later rounds. Actually, I do have a comparison. You ever played Bloons Tower Defense and got to like level 150 and there's just 9 million ceramic balloons or something? It's kind of like this. Oh yeah, out of bullets. That's good. No, that's nice. I brought literally seven stacks of advanced rounds. How am I out of them? How am I empty? It's okay. Good old shotgun. There's another wave I'm fucked. I hope this is the last wave. The air is quiet. Oh, thank God. Okay. Now we just have a couple friends. We can take them out bit by bit. Woo! I can't imagine how this could get any more intensive. I literally... They're spawning faster than I can fire bullets. But I think we should just cut to the good stuff. I'm about to make this so much worse. Are you ready for a finale? I hope you fucking are. <laughs> what did I mean by that? Well, I hope you're ready for a fucking finale. I shut down the game and added every zombie mod I could, including Nightmare. Nightmare is a mod that makes zombies always aggro. Not just zombies though, everyone. But zombies can now break and place blocks to get to you. Creepers kamikaze to make a hole in the wall for skeletons to lobby arrows through. Everyone works together and sleeping is now a thing of the past. Here's a couple clips really explaining how fucked I am for day 100. Do you break blocks? Oh, they do, they do. What the fuck? Oh my God. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Of course, that makes sense. Where, where is nearby? Everywhere, it's fucking everywhere. I've lo- They're building! You did not just build up to me. How the fuck am I gonna live this wave? There is basically no rest anymore. The only positive is that now I'm getting tons of gunpowder to make more bullets, to shoot more enemies, to get more gunpowder, for more bullets. But I can't sleep. I just have to run around, load up my extra rounds, and prep for day 100. I'm putting them in an e-chest in the middle of the arena just in case I run out of bullets in my inventory. So there it is. The final horde with all the perks that I can give it. They are coming to me from all sides, lagging out my entire computer. Either I lose, I win, or my PC explodes. And cherry on top, I went into the configs one last time and upped the max amount of zombies from three to 500. So no matter what happens, this is over. It's up to me to play the greatest round of COD zombies I can, and I'm either gonna win, lose, or break my computer. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Eclipse, and we've gone from terrified survivor to bloodthirsty maniac. So all that's left is day 100. Oh yeah, build, yeah, build up to me. Yeah, no, it's fine. I wanted to hang with the boys. Has the horde even started yet? Is it even midnight? It's not even fucking midnight. Oh, there's the finale, it has started. How many entities could that possibly be? Ah, it sounds like one or two. A nearby horde, huh? Fucking wonderware! God, the skeletons are so dead accurate. Dead accurate. Fucking every time. All right, that's handled. That's pretty much handled. We can trail. We can trail them into the next explosion set. And oh, cool bullets. Okay. Where are they all? Up, oh, found the found the squad of skeletons. The homies be rolling up. Holy shit! No, I, I'm putting every bullet I have into you. Oh, he laid down. Okay, that's fine. He got up. Man got the. He, he faked out. He fucking he faked out. There's so many. I heard them roar again. I heard them roar again. That's not friendly roars. 
nope, not friendly! Definitely the unfriendly vibe. Definitely getting the unfriendly, like, not homey. Stop digging! Jesus fucking Christ! Nah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna run out of bullets. Who is hissing over here? Oh, it's another fucking horde. And Trident R Us is having one final sale to wrap up the 100 days. Of course they are. Alright, am I away from the homies? No, of course not! Why would I be away from the homies? Why are we on semi-auto? There's no time! Just fucking go! They're breaking everything. No, they lit the sub the scrub bribe. No, no, quick, scrub scribe, quick. Oh, the cavalry. The cavalry is here. They're coming from both sides now. Yeah, just start placing blocks as a fucking wall. You guys are jackasses. There's so much. Oh, the sun! The sun! I mean, they don't burn, but if I kill them all, then I win. Then that, that's the law. That's the law. If I kill them all, then I win. Okay, are they gonna do one more horde? Because if so, I can train them. We can make this happen. God, I love bazookas. The cooldown's annoying. I'm blowing up everything. Fuck it, man! It's not like anything's gonna last anyway! My name has been Eclipse! EQ for short! And fuck these zombies! I am the champion, bitch! You can't fucking beat me! Ah, there it is. Cool. Video's done. Um, thank you guys for watching. I, I, I like, just wanted to throw a little something instead of silence at the end here. Really appreciate it. We put a lot of work into this. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of it. Um, and subscribe and some shit. I don't fucking know, man. I'm not your dad.